Hello everyone, I'm Tiara Chardé. I'm back with another banger, all right? Y'all know I'm bringing that heat. I even got red on, you know I'm bringing the heat. Okay, so <laughs> I'm in such a great mood right now, y'all. Like today has been so amazing. But anyway, this message is about um, picking up your Bible. It's right here, maybe I'm not meant to show it. The message is to um, pick up your Bible. Yeah, I know. So many of y'all, really quick backstory, backstory. So many of you do know my story, but I grew up in the church. I was in the church for days a week, okay? Three or four days a week, I was in the church. I grew up apostolic, okay? And um, as I got older, I couldn't deny the mystical, magical, and the supernatural things and downloads and information and things I was seeing and receiving. I couldn't deny it any longer. And I went um, on my own journey of discovery. And the, my journey of discovery took me to so many different sacred texts other than the Bible, right? The Tibetan Book of the Dead, right? The Emerald Tablets. Um, they were gods before, no, before they came. Or, all these, all these books, all these um, esoteric, occult-like books called to me. I've always been like a low-key scholar. I've always been um, really a researcher. So it was natural that the, these works would find me. But um, I expanded my database. I expanded my consciousness with this information. And I did not get rid of the Bible. Many of you know I, I have my mom's Bible from the 90s. You know, if you read my story, The Pussy Portal Healing with Pleasure, um, the scene that I'm talking about in the store that actually took place in the 90s, and she had this Bible. Y'all, that's the Bible that I mentioned in the chapter. So if you have not gotten the book Anthology, Ancient Future Unity, and my chapter is The Pussy Portal Healing with Pleasure, that is actually linked in the description box. You can get it from Amazon or you can hit me up if you would like a personalized autograph copy, okay? So I didn't get rid of the Bible on my journey. I became an oracle or I publicly announced myself as an oracle, as a priestess, um, as a healer, a shaman, and I began that spiritual journey. But I always kept my Bible. I was never disconnected from it. And for many of you, you know, you're saying, well, the Bible was tampered with, verses and stuff was taken out and stuff was put in and it was all messed up. You're absolutely right. Absolutely. 100%. You got it. All right. You got it, baby. But there's something about the text and the book and your family Bible, right? Like grandma's Bible. There's something about that, that you specifically, not anybody else, I'm speaking to you, baby, if you resonate with this you're needing to incorporate that into your spiritual practice and foundation. And we're gonna go into that. I wrote down a bunch of things for y'all. I did not wanna miss any of these topics and go off on a tangent. <laughs> so I wrote things down for you, all right? So listen. You're needing to have the Bible in the house because it carries the vibration of your ancestors. Some of you, you have your mom or your dad's Bible. You have grandpa's Bible. You have this big ass family Bible. I know it because I've seen it in a lot of y'all houses. I've seen this, those big giant Bibles. They're like this thick and they're like the family Bible. And they be, they're passed down from generations to generations. Many of you have those type of Bibles in your homes. And it really does carry the vibration of the ancestors. Some of you are needing to place this Bible on your altar on your kitchen countertop, I just heard. Some of you are needing to pray with it, sit and meditate with the Bible. Excuse me, lip gloss break, hang on. To sit with that Bible and receive the downloads and the information that is coming from you, right? Some of you, you, you wanna to talk to grandma again, you wish you could talk to your mother again, but you have something, you have and artifacts, <laughs> literally, that you can go to and receive information and get that, that frequency from the ancestors. So somebody is needing to tap in. Also, certain scriptures trigger ancestral memory. They also trigger your memory, right? But they also trigger the ancestral memory. 
the ancestors, you know, they are you. They are in you. So when one transitions, all of that energy goes into you. You become them. They become you. So ancestral veneration is the honoring of you, right? All that energy is inside of you. So when you access the Bible or you read a scripture, you're triggering that memory. Many of you know the Bible originally was an account of things and it was prophecies and there was um, a lot of, um, there was poems and codes in the Bible. Some of you are needing it in your home to trigger that memory of the original text or of that life that you lived. Many of you, you're literally reading stories of you, of who you were. I literally just did a video about your name being in history books. It's giving me that energy right now. Some of you are needing to pick up the Bible because you're gonna find that you're reading a story that is yours, that you either wrote or it's about you. Okay, prophet, priestess, priest, yes, yes. So you're needing to, um, to access that, to trigger that memory. Okay, even some certain songs, like I tell you all the time, I love music, I love to sing, I love instruments, like I love vocalists, like I can literally go into trance off of singing and hearing vocalists sing. So um, for many of you, there are songs that you're needing to listen to just because you left the church doesn't mean this gospel song isn't going to have a whole word for you. All right. Spiritual does not mean closed-minded. Spiritual means an expansive consciousness, right? A wise man knows that information and wisdom is found in every single thing. So for some, I feel like you separated from the church and you left the Bible behind and you left the gospel music behind and in return, you're missing something, okay? This is, this is for someone. You're missing something that you're actually needing on your journey right now. So literally your guides and the divine want you to tap back into the Bible to get that information. Tap back into gospel music to get that vibration, okay? And you, like, I don't say, you know, Jesus, I replace it with goddess or the most high. Even scriptures, I replace it with the most high, the goddess, yes. All of that stuff. And it's, it's still just as powerful, and if not even more so, because I have an awareness of what it is that I'm doing. Many of you, you're needing the Bible because, it, like I said, it triggers your memory. It triggers your DNA. And having it around you literally can open up the other texts, right? So like I was saying, I love the Tibetan Book of the Dead and all those things. Having a text such as the Bible on me inspired me to study those other texts, inspired me to look up other prophets and humanitarians and um, poets as well, scribes, writers. Somebody is needing to have the Bible at their disposal because it's going to um, activate new spiritual gifts or it's gonna give you more fortitude to um, operate in your spiritual gift, okay? So take what resonates with that. And um, yeah, it, the Bible for many of us on this journey, it's literally the invitation to go deeper. Yes, it is. It's meant to be that in this time and space for you. You're meant to awaken to the knowledge of what it is, the truth of what it is and what happened, the tampering and all of that. You're meant to awaken to that knowledge and then use it as a tool, not to completely disregard it, but allow it to be a beacon for you and bring you towards more things. It's the lighthouse, it's the activator, right? L allow it to trigger you into going deeper into the occult. That's what I was, that's what I'm getting at. It's an invitation to go deeper into the occult, into the esoteric sciences, to go further in your spiritual practice. Um, and that's what it's like, again, that's, literally what it's meant to be in this life there's so many of you who look like me there's so many of you who are my cosmic my rainbow brothers and sisters you literally are meant to have the bible in your life and get what you need to get from it and then open yourself up to more it's not supposed to be 
the end all be all. It's just supposed to be the launching pad. It's supposed to take you down to um, up or down or up. I, I'm getting, I just saw a big ass library. So this is the Akashic Records that I'm literally looking at. Exactly. It's literally the gateway into the other realms and dimensions and um, deeper access into esoteric sciences, right? So in other schools of thought. So really, 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 y'all, if this message calls out to you, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you send a donation as well. Make sure you leave a comment if you resonate because you're needing to tap in to esoteric wisdom, tap into your ancestors, tap into the teachings and the wisdom that they had. You're meant to read a scripture and then let your intuition bring you that wisdom and that deeper meaning, right? Allow it to do that. A lot of times I just flip through the Bible pages and I land a finger on wherever it is and that is my message for the day. That's the prophetic word. That's the message from the Most High that I'm meant to take into me and dwell on. And then once I take it into me and I dwell on it, I'm like, oh, wow, that reminds me of, you know, the Mary Magdalene book. Or that reminds me of the part that I wrote in my book. Like that, oh, wow, it all is tied in. Or I remember when my Nana said this, that's what it is. It's to trigger you. It's to activate you. It's to allow your spiritual uh, gifts to come to the forefront. It's meant to trigger your dormant DNA. And I want you to know that, all right? So... That is the message. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Tierra Chardet, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace and love.